What's going on fellow YouTubers and this is the third game in the series of which game will we'll get you to level 50 the fastest. So before I begin I want to thank you guys so much for the great feedback I had in my last video of homeless people trains and pooping uh, over 500 like or uh, over 500 views 100 likes. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a little mission for you guys. Let's try for 200 likes or if we can't even get 200 likes let's try for like 100 or 10 or something like that. I don't know. No, but please go ahead and like like my videos I want to you know bring more to you and I want to feel like I'm, I'm doing something so please give me uh, write a comment down or you know press the like button it only takes two seconds so I'm gonna stop asking for that this video at least okay and one thing I am gonna say is I am gonna hold a modern warfare 2 lobby tomorrow night it's gonna be nine o'clock Chicago time, which is Central Time, I think. I'm not too sure about that, but nine o'clock, Modern Warfare 2, gonna happen. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, and actually the comment I want you to leave is your gamer tag and kind of around your KD or why you should play with me or something like that. So go ahead and put that in the comment section for you guys. So. Let's begin. First, I want to say, uh, go check out Jay Loco's channel. He His uh, link will be in the description. He just did a hipfire commentary on a video I submitted to him. Really funny guy. Hilarious. Tell him I sent you. Go ahead and subscribe to him. This dude is freaking hilarious. So, if you guys have been living under a rock, Modern War or, uh, Black Ops just came out with another uh, patch update. They did a tweak to the sniper, which I noticed a little bit tonight. I got quickscope like six or seven times in one game. Um, so they did tweak the snipers a little bit better to help you guys quickscope a little bit more. Uh, and another thing that they did with this patch was they brought Nuketown back on Domination. I'm so excited about that. I love freaking Nuketown. I was so depressed when they took Nuketown away in Domination because... It's just anarchy, all right? It's babies crying, grenades exploding, cars, you know, bomb firing and shit. It's just crazy in Nuketown. You know, it's kind of summit. It's, you know, close corridors, but not as crazy as Nuketown because you can kill somebody from, like, side of the map to side of the map, basically. It's just nuts, all right? So... That's it. Let's get into the story now. So I want to talk to you about another job I used to have. And this was working at a grocery store. And I used to stock food, deliver food to old farts, and pick up carts at the end of the day. Because people would like to take carts home. So I'd drive a van and look, some, uh, look for the carts that they uh, leave at their house. Because they're too uh, lazy to bring the carts back to the store. So this one couple I want to talk to you about. I used to deliver every other day for it. And when I say every other day, they would get like $15, $20 worth of stuff every other day. So I always had to deliver to these this couple. And they're about 70 to 80 years old. They are old as people. Both the male and the female had their boobs hanging down to their knees. That's how old they were, okay? So this couple always got a delivery. And this one hot summer day, it was over 90 degrees. They call in, get a delivery. I bring it over to them. And usually when I ring the doorbell, he takes his old ass over to the door and lets me in. Get turned on, son. Uh, sorry about that. Um, and he would let me in. Well, this time I rang the doorbell and he was like, come in. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. So I, I come in and you suck, commando lunch. Um, so I, I go into the place and I walk into the living room. And what do you think I find? The dude's freaking taking a goddamn shit right there in the living room. He had a portable freaking crapper. I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry. I'm not the kind of person that likes having people know I'm taking a crap. Even when I'm in a public bathroom, okay, and someone sits down in the, the stall next to me. I don't want to know. I don't want them to know that I'm taking a crap, all right? I'm not that kind of person. I don't want anybody knowing. I don't even like my wife in the goddamn room when I'm taking a crap. And she's like, we're married. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Get out, all right? I'm not that kind of person. But this guy is, I know he's old, but come on, have some decency. He's taking a crap right in front of me, and I got to deliver him food. And this crap smelled horrible. I had to back out of the goddamn house 
to catch my breath. And I only stepped like a half a step in this damn place. I had to step back out. One, because I was in shock. Number two, because it just stank that really freaking bad. It choked. I don't know how many freaking chickens. It was horror, horror, horrible. Okay. So this dude's taking a crap. I walk outside. Freaking get like a lung full of air and just run into the kitchen and drop off the food and he's like i gotta give you the money i'm like you can finish first i'll be outside like i did not want to stay in there and this guy was by far one of the cheapest mother effers i have ever met the wife it, okay let me let me give this story it was the day before christmas eve and yet again i'm delivering to their ass yet again and every time i went there i would never get a tip well this one time the day before Christmas Eve, the wife's like, oh, it's right about to be Christmas. We should give him a tip. And the guy looks at me like, you better say fucking no. You better say fucking no. And I'm like, no, you don't have to. I'm sorry. If you tip your, tip your pizza guy, if you tip the waitress that brings you your, your overpriced meal, why are you not tipping the guy that brings you a week's worth of food. I had this one delivery I always had to do, and it was every week, and they would get $300 worth of crap, okay? And it was a married couple, and they were probably in their 40s, okay? The one wife was over 300 pounds. She was the beast of a woman, and I would have to see her every goddamn week. It was disgusting. But the second person, the husband, was... A, a beefy kind of guy he was like he was maybe 250 he could still get around and he had some muscle to him he could have helped me they lived on the third freaking story of an apartment complex and this guy would get 300 dollars worth of shit it was usually four or five boxes i had to carry up there to to this third story apartment he would never help me and he would never tip me I don't get that. What is what is wrong with people nowadays that they don't tip? Especially people that are bringing them a week's worth of food. So this video is coming to an end, guys. I hope you liked it. So remember, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Put your gamer tags down and why you should play in my party tonight. Later.